Now, from vibrant cities, colourful villages and award-winning visitor experiences, Ireland is packed full of unique activities, appearing on both small and big screens, with the Game of Thrones, of course, and the latest Star Wars films. There is so much on offer for any holiday maker. To tell us more, please welcome to the cafe, Niall Gibbons. Welcome. Thank you for having me on the show. Nice to be back again in New Zealand. Uh, Delighted to be here. Yeah, it's good to have you back, that's yeah, for sure. Lovely to have you here. Now, Ireland, let me get this straight. Ireland has been a bit of a success story for tourism, a record 11 million overseas visitors last year? Yeah. That is a lot. What's what's the secret? Uh, lots of secrets, but I mean, it's a terrific destination. Um, I mean, to put it in perspective, I mean, Ireland is a small island, population about six and a half million people, but tourism is a big industry. It's the biggest employer, big contributor to the government coffers, but uh, it's just a great experience. People love the people, the scenery, the culture. It's good fun. People go home and tell their friends about it, and they keep coming. And out of all those visitors that are turning up, are a lot of them Kiwis? Well, we've got about over 30,000 Kiwis now. It's increased by over 30% over the last five years alone. Wow. Great connectivity now. You can do Ireland in one stop, so the likes of Qatar, Cathay Pacific, through Hong Kong and Emirates, you know, one stop to Ireland. It's much easier than it was. I remember coming down this direction 30 years ago, it was two or three stops before you got here. It was a journey, <laughs> a pilgrimage. But, uh, but now it's just so easy. I think mean, people can go over and there's lots of reasons to go. And 17th of November, big rugby game. Oh, KB's yes. KB's playing. Just yes. one of those All ones. Blacks against yeah, Ireland. Well, number one country in the world against the number two. That would You want to be... switch that around now if we can, OK? <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah, but, but Ireland is the one team I think we don't mind losing to, I feel, as well, a little Blacks fan. Yeah. yeah, we absolutely do. Yeah. Um, so you're talking about some of the things that you can do there. So what would you say would be some of the real highlights for Kiwi visitors? Well, I think when you arrive, you, you arrive in Dublin, you know, which, which is the capital, but certainly the Wild Atlantic Way, which is the west coast of Ireland, 1,500 miles of stunning scenery. Uh, that's where you see the best of the landscape. Uh, hire a car if you can, uh, driving on the left-hand side of the road. Roads are fairly quiet. You have stunning scenery mm. and really friendly people. And you get into really the heart of Ireland. Northern Ireland has seen the great renaissance in tourism over the last number of years. Titanic Belfast, where the ship was built. Right. As I say, up there was fine when it left. And, <laughs> But Game of Thrones as well has been a spectacular success and you're great down here for film tourism and mm. we're uh, stealing some of your success to some extent. We've had Star Wars as well on the west coast of Ireland. But Game of Thrones has been a great success yes, and some of, the visitor, uh, some of the sets now are going to be open to visitor attractions next year which is great news for us. Excellent. Yeah and that's the thing, you look at New Zealand with Lord of the Rings, a lot of people mm. go and have a look. I will go to Ireland just to see some of the sets of Game, Game of, of Thrones. Thrones. Yeah. 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 Star Sounds Wars. amazing. Okay, what if I'm adventurous? A lot of Kiwis are adventurous, they want to get out, do some outdoor activities. What does Ireland have on offer? Well, you've got a lot of world-class activities down here, but we're great too. You know, activity-based tourism is something that's really growing in popularity. So if you're into walking, hiking, outdoor activities, surfing even, a lot of surfing schools opening up, okay. particularly along the right. west coast of Ireland, some great waves there. Uh, so, you know, outdoor pursuits really popular in Ireland, yeah. Mm -hmm. You just need a really thick wetsuit, wouldn't you, if you're doing the surfing? It's not about the weather, it's about having the clothing. <laughs> Appropriately <laughs> attired. Uh, are there any other new sort of, we've mentioned the rugby, but are there any other new events or great reasons to visit? Well, festivals are a big thing in Ireland, you know, and, and all year round, if you come over, say, in January, Tradfest is a big thing, traditional Irish music and culture uh, around Dublin. St. Patrick's Day, you can't miss mm. in March. Uh, as you go through literature, Bloomsday, James Joyce, you know, in June. Uh, Halloween is an Irish festival, by the way, and that's, you know, uh, just past here, but, uh, you know, next year we'll be beefing up that sort of festival. And oh, New okay. Year's as well is a new festival in Ireland that's plenty of, you know, things to see and do around that time too. So there's always something on in Ireland, that's the key message. Uh, and tell us about Royal Port Rush. Well, the Open, uh, as in the one of the major golf tournaments, is coming to Rollport, Rush in Northern Ireland in 2019. It's a big tournament, 100,000 people coming to see it. It's the first time it's been in Port Rush since 1953. So it's back on the circuit in Northern Ireland, which is terrific news. Mm -hmm. Ireland has more golf courses per head of population than any other country I in the world. Know. Wow, well, Rolling Greens, it's perfect. Oh, and it's yeah. a big year for Galway, too, coming up. Yeah, Galway has the uh, yeah, international year in 2020, so that's terrific news for Galway. Galway is always a great destination. Lots of things to see and do if you're into horse racing if you're to arts, uh, theatre, I mean, Galway's got culture really wrapped up. Oh, sounds so much fun. What, what's the biggest misconception about Ireland? In your job, you know, you're travelling the world, trying to get people to visit, what do you think is the biggest misconception people have about Ireland? Uh, I think people always come away with Ireland exceeding their expectations. And when I ask people around the world, like, you know, what is it that you liked about it? It all comes down to the friendliness and the warmth That's of the people, right. you know. Yeah. And I find it amazing. I come to a country like this, which I think is terrific as well. Um, you know, on the other side of the world, a 13 hour time difference and you, you feel at home, you know. And I think people from here mm. say the same thing about Ireland. Sounds fantastic. We are, we're going to come back with you yeah, to get ourselves in a suitcase. <laughs> and if you would like more information about this incredible Isle, you can head to Ireland.com.